So before I say anything else, I do support on Gaudashina God, I do support um the P keeping the peace and keeping order in this country in law and order. Um but I have to say it straight and I will say it straight. What the Gauds are doing is Quinema across this country, what they've been doing over the last few months. Um and particularly last night too, it's just it's just completely Quinema what they're going around doing. Um for the for the government, for the state. Um and again it's kind of political police, if you may use that. Um so we've seen with the Devonals workers and obviously what the sympathise, you know, with all of them. Um, they've been put through hell and again the government don't care about them and just left them and abandoned them. Um, but they protested last night peacefully, doing no harm to nobody, wearing masks, no, doing no harm, literally doing no harm whatsoever to anybody. Um, protesting, trying to get what they deserve. Um, and the girls came along and started literally, and I mean literally, lifting them up and putting them into the back of the fans. Um, and I literally mean carrying them. Um, and again, and they were doing no harm to anybody. They just felt like, oh, let's just harass, the, harass these people and harass them. For, I don't know why, it's for some COVID regulation, right? We'll just make that up. Um, whatever they make up, whatever they think about or whatever they deem is COVID or whatever. But again, they've really disgraced themselves down. They've disgraced themselves on many occasions across this whole time. Like, take for example, even uh, no matter if you agree with anti lockdown protests or you disagree, I'm sure people would agree. Everybody's entitled to protest, no matter what it is. Um, and again, you know, the harassment of some people are not the locked up post. Again, they're entitled to express their opinion, whatever. Um, but again, the harassment of them and you know, people that are doing no harm to anybody. Like, you know, in fairness, some people, you know, at the time in Dublin, at the time of Grafton Street in Dublin, you know, that person that fired the firework, again, again, the media betrayed everybody as being dangerous people to society. And that, that wasn't the case. There was only one or two people who had to cause trouble. Um and that's you know, again they're the people that should be dealt with the people that were to cost trouble not everybody, um and again this is the thing too and I many occasions could go on and on and on and on about how many times the gals have disgraced themselves over that and again it's not all gals some gals have been very very decent some gals have been very very good to communities and helped out, um helped out people and kept people safe, um and you might and I, it goes more to say only for the gals you know this country would be. Um, there'd be crime happen, there'd be shootings happen, there'd be murders, there'd be mass rape, and I might as well just say it straight. Um, so we have to be thankful for that, but again, what they've done to people's freedom, and you know, that, that's gone down the memory home, that's gone down the toilet. Um, take for example, Father PJ in Mullahorn and County Cavan. Two gals nearly every week is going to Mullahorn and saying to Father PJ, you know, you conduct an illegal mass here, how dare you open your church? Um, and then they fuck off, and then they go somewhere. Um... But again, this is the thing, that they're even going in and saying to him, you know, you're not entitled to your freedom. You're not entitled. No, no, no. God bless you. You're not entitled. You're not entitled. No. Um, and again, just for a gal to go in and just be like, the and then even go into some churches and closing them down. Um, the same with businesses, just bulging in. Um, I never heard what happened to the woman in Blatchestown. She had a hair salon. Um, not Blatchestown, but Brigham or something like that, I think it was. Um, I know, uh, I can't think of his name now. I put it on the spot now. Um. Oh, what is he? Ben Gower, Ben Gilroy, Ben Gilroy. Yes. Um. He was at, at there, and I think I can't remember who else was there, but um. I think the wall was there too. I remember. So this is a few months ago, two months ago now. I never heard what happened to that woman. I tried to figure out the other day. Um. What happened to her? Um. I never heard what happened. I, God forbid. I hope she's not in prison. Um. Because she wanted to open a business. She was you basically couldn't afford to, to live um without her business. And the girls went in and shut her down and arrested her. And arrested her. I don't know what they did with her after. But um th like again, this is the thing. A woman wanting to open her business and to provide for her family and to put food on the table as she said at the time. And the girls won't stay in and just arrested her and didn't care, no remorse. Um at least uh, I will say this, the four stayed the two girls standing outside the house alone. They showed a bit of remorse. They showed a bit like they didn't want to be there. And they were, you know, again, there's some gals that just there, um, and they're forced to be there. They're forced to be there by the superiors. And again, it's the superiors we have, true Harris and the rest of them. That's the people to blame. Again, some of the gals um are you know, again some of them don't want to be there, and I might be honest with you, they're there. They're forced there to be there. But there is some gals that are taking advantage, and I'm sure people would agree they're taking advantage of the powers, the extraordinary powers that have been given to them by the state. Um, and the t uh, some girls are taking advantage of it, but a good lot of the girls again. I kept paid uh, paid all the girls in one push, um. Some of them are being very generous, and some of them being very um 
how to put it being very nice to people very kind to people um, and that goes without saying you know and that might just say straight but the vast majority of the Gallo organisation itself has really just been shamed um, and the name has kind of been tarnished and I might be honest with you um, for what they did to people and again this Devonans what happened to the Devonans workers last night it's just an example and then the same as what happened over the over the last few months I could go on I nearly have a list here I could nearly make three or four lists of all the times I've seen the gals go in and abuse the power and um, people that would do no harm to anybody um, and again you see these people these are laundering across the border um, very little is done by that and you know that's something that's not talked about a lot and you know, I'm told to keep quiet about that sometimes um, they don't want me talking about it but again never any gal the one where that's happening is there um, and then as soon as somebody protests they have all the gals in the country there if it doesn't suit the narrative then every gal in the country will be there and um, again, it's a shame for, again, some girls have disgraced themselves and disgraced the uniform. Um, but again, we have to say what it goes without saying, that, you know, I do support law and order, but what they're doing to people, um, in not letting them protest and not letting them speak freely or whatever, whatever they, whatever people want to do, whatever their rights are, I do support them in the day-to-day -day, um, policing, obviously doing, dealing with drugs, um, people that are causing crime, causing, causing a hazard to people and, abusing people I, I support them every day doing that and obviously I support law and order um but again what they're doing to people that just want to protest and what the what their voices hold um and what they're doing to people who own businesses you know it's unforgivable and might be honest it's unforgivable to some for some gaudy what they're doing um and they will be accountable hopefully please god someday um for some of the quiet some some gals that have done these things thank you